Okay, so you guys can't really see this, I'm about on back end, but I've created probably about like four different videos of these, and each one I didn't really like, and I wanted to kind of change how I was gonna do it. So I'm kind of sick of making this video for negative 840 degrees, so I'm kind of gonna make it a little bit quicker, try to, um, for you as I go through it. So what do we wanna do is evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent of negative 840 degrees. Now to do that, what we can simply do is just find the point, the coordinate point, where our terminal side of negative 840 degrees lies on the unit circle. Now, to, to do that, remember we're going in the negative direction. So if I go all the way around a circle, that's negative 360. I'll continue around, again, that's gonna be negative 270. And then negative 120 degrees is going to be, an extra negative 120 degrees will be right around there, which will be negative um, 840 degrees collectively. Negative 360 plus negative 360 plus negative 120. Now, what we want to do to evaluate this point, we need to find where is this point on the unit circle that we can evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent because we need to know the x and the y coordinates um, of that point. So one way we like to do that is to find the reference angle. Now remember the reference angle is the acute angle between my terminal side and my horizontal axis. So since I just went an extra negative 120 degrees, we could easily kind of reason that this space you know, right here is going to be an extra 60 degrees. But I want to make sure I can show you algebraically how to do this as well. So let's say maybe we can't graph it and we're having trouble graphing it. Well, how can we take negative 840 degrees and use the reference angle? The first thing when trying to find reference angles is we cannot use angles that are greater than 360 degrees or that are negative when we're going to algebraically figure them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on finding my coterminal angles until I get the smallest coterminal angle of negative 840 degrees. So therefore, I add 360, still, still going to be a negative angle. I add 360 again, I still have a negative angle. And let's add 360 one more time. And therefore, I'm finally going to have a positive angle, which is going to be 240 degrees. So what that means is 240 degrees is the exact same initial and terminal side as negative, 100 and, or negative 840 degrees. And let's just double check that. Well, if we go all halfway around a circle, that's going to be 180 degrees. And then we can just go an extra 240, which I know it's not written there correctly, but that's going to give us um, or an extra 60 degrees, which would give us to 240. Therefore, again, showing us that this angle, this reference angle, is going to be 60 degrees. However, let's double check that by using the formula. The formula, since we have our terminal side of our angle is in the third quadrant, the formula for finding the angle in the third quadrant is theta prime equals theta minus 180. Well, therefore, theta prime equals our theta, which is 240 minus 180. So it's important for us to be able to understand that in this case we get 60 degrees, which we're able to reason with this. But it's important if you're going to algebraically do this, you've got to make sure that your coterminal angle is between 0 and 2 pi and positive. Because if we were going to put, plug in any other number besides 240, we wouldn't have gotten our reference angle. And remember, reference angles have to be acute angles. So now here's the last point I need to make. We notice that our terminal side is in the, our third quadrant. In the third quadrant, we need to make sure that we understand that the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate are going to be negative. So even though I'm going to use the reference angle to find the x and y values on the unit circle, I need to remember that they're both negative. So how do I remember what, at 60 degrees, what the coordinate point is? Well, you need to at least remember the quadrant, uh, or sorry, the unit circle, and especially the first quadrant. Because I showed a couple videos, you know, how to memorize that first quadrant, but it's going to become really important for you to understand that. So at uh, 60 degrees, my coordinate point is 1 half comma square root of 3 divided by 2. I kind of have those memorized because I've really stressed with my students to make sure you know that first quadrant. However, remember when evaluating for, ne for our um, negative 840, we need to remember it's in the third quadrant. So these are actually going to be negative values. So when I go ahead and try to find the sine, of negative 840 degrees, we know that that's equivalent to using our reference angle, which would be square root of 3 divided by 2. And since it's in the third quadrant, it's going to be negative. The cosine of negative 840 degrees is going to be 1 half, but again, that's also going to be negative. And then we go ahead and look at our tangent of negative 840 degrees. And we're looking at tangent, remember we have the, the y coordinate over the x-coordinate multiplied by our reciprocals. And what we end up with is a 
the, sorry, those are both negative. So therefore, we end up with a positive square root of 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate um, for the sine, cosine, and tangent of negative 804 degrees with coterminal and reference angles. Thanks.